welcome to this video in this video we will be learning about the working of automatic pressure modification device which is commonly known as apm it is fitted on freight cars of indian railways so at first we should know the necessity of this device indian railways runs freight trains freight cars runs in loaded condition while carrying consignment as well as in empty condition while returning from the unloading station weight of an empty freight car is about 21 ton whereas that of a loaded freight car is about 91 ton this means for same speed momentum of a loaded freight car is about 4.5 times of that of an empty freight car this necessitates for breaking force of different magnitude for loaded freight car and empty freight car it means breaking force required for loaded freight car is higher than the breaking force required for empty freight car in earlier freight cars breaking force of different magnitude was obtained by a mechanism called empty load box device it consists of mechanical linkage and requires manual operation of handle to switch over from loaded to empty and vice versa breaking force of different magnitude is achieved in empty and loaded condition by changing of lever ratio with introduction of bottom discharge freight car it was difficult to fit empty load box device here comes load sensing device it required a distributor valve with pressure transformer as a single unit sensor unit is fitted on bogie bolster bogie bolster rest on spring spring rest on spring plank in empty condition as we know height of spring will be more and there will be gap between sensor unit and spring plank in this case the air sensor is receiving from distributor valve will not be returned to distributor valve in this case distributor valve will reduce the pressure of air going to brake cylinder to 2.2 kg per centimeter square in other case that is in loaded condition height of spring will be less and the sensor unit will be pressed against the spring plank in this case the air received by sensor unit from distributor valve will be returned to distributor valve this signals that freight car is in loaded condition and in this case distributor valve will not reduce the pressure of air going to brake cylinder and will supply air at 3.8 kg per centimeter square to brake cylinder however this design is prone to failure because occasionally sensor unit was got hit by the ballast of track besides the flexible pipes also got cut and rub during loading unloading and movement owing to the reason mentioned earlier air pressure modification device was developed to achieve different braking force for empty condition and loaded condition without manual operation this air pressure modification device that is apm consists of a valve called el60 and a small reservoir of 600 ml physically this air pressure modification device installed between the air line of distributor valve and brake cylinder this device is fitted on the under frame on hanging upside down the movement of sensor denotes the freight car is empty or loaded movement of this sensor is stopped by the side frame of body the total free movement of the sensor is 104 mm in unrestricted position it is quite obvious that in case of empty freight car movement of sensor unit will be more due to high gap between body and body whereas in loaded condition the gap between body and body will be less due to compression of secondary suspension spring due to less gap between body and body movement of sensor unit will be less so if the movement of sensor unit are a and b respectively in empty and 
loaded condition then a is greater than b hence for total movement of sensor that is free movement of 104 mm first 80 mm movement is considered as loaded movement and the remaining 24 mm movement that is beyond 80 that is 81 to 104 mm will be treated as movement in empty condition if movement of sensor unit is less than or equal to 80 mm the el60 valve will treat freight car as loaded and it will not reduce the pressure of air coming from distributor valve and going to brake cylinder if movement of sensor is more than 80 mm the el60 valve will treat the freight car as empty the el60 valve will get air of pressure p from distributor valve it will send the air of pressure 60 percent of the p to brake cylinder and divert the remaining air to a small reservoir this pressure reduction of 60 percent is achieved by pneumatically operated ratio piston which let pass 60 percent volume of air to brake cylinder line this ratio piston comes into play only when movement of sensor is more than 80 mm while releasing of freight car by distributor valve all air of brake cylinder and a small reservoir will be released to atmosphere through distributor valve now we will talk about the precautions to be taken during installation at the time of installation on empty freight car calibration is to be done during installation on empty freight car distance a is to be measured a is kept between 88 to 95 mm depending upon the different type of wagon if a is less than 80 mm the el60 valve will treat freight car always as loaded and will not reduce the pressure of air going to brake cylinder and will supply air at full air pressure this will result in excessive braking force in empty condition if a is kept too high that is more than 104 mm so that even in loaded condition movement of sensor is more than 80 mm the el60 valve will treat the loaded freight car as empty and will reduce the pressure of air going to brake cylinder and will send air to brake cylinder at 60 percent of 3.8 kg per centimeter square that is equivalent to 2.2 kg per centimeter square this will lead to poor braking in loaded condition this necessitates the importance of calibration during installation this is all about automatic pressure modification device thank you for watching the video